Yo, what's going on guys, it's Mikey Blends, and on today's video we're going to be going over a high taper with the number 4 on top. This has been requested a lot by everybody, so here it is. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like, comment, subscribe, and follow the Instagram as well. My client has a few words for you guys, so pay attention to him. Follow my boy Mikey Blends. <laughs> you guys heard him, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, we're almost to a thousand, but here's the before results. And here's the after results after we're done doing the high taper. Now, let's get into it. My client asked for a number four guard all the way on top. So we're gonna be going all around with the number four, making sure it's all nice and even. Using the comb, we're gonna lay the hair right back down to make sure we're trimming everything nice and evenly. Also, you could drag the comb first and follow it right up with the guard to make sure you get a nice even cut all around. Make sure to also clean up behind the ear and the back of the head to get a nice even cut all around. As you can see, I'm using the comb first and then following it right up with the guard. That is to ensure that I get a nice even cut all around. This is a technique that a lot of barbers use. So make sure to use this technique right here to get that nice even cut. Not that we set in that number four guard all around, now it's time to set in that bald guideline using our trimmers. I like to start from the corner of the forehead and then the ending of the ear. I like setting it in a rainbow shape. Carefully using the corners of our trimmers, we're gonna start setting in that rainbow shape. Not that we set in that rainbow shape, now it's time to clean up all the hairs underneath that guideline. Making sure you lay the blade nice and flat so you don't irritate the skin or nick it. As you get near the guideline, do not go past it, just stay right underneath it. Now after cleaning everything up, now it's time to use our foil shavers here and set in this bald guideline with our foil shavers. Using the corners of our foil shavers, we're going to start setting in a finger width guideline. In a flick out motion, make sure to also start blending it out. After flicking out that guideline, make sure to clean up any excess hair underneath it. After cleaning everything up, now it's time to use our clippers here with the no guard lever open. Using the corners of our clippers, we're gonna start setting in another finger width guideline following that rainbow shape. Now with the lever closed, we're gonna be going halfways into that guideline. Only going halfways allow us to come back with the lever halfways open to making sure everything is nice and blended together. For any detail work, make sure to open up the lever all the way open and just follow that same guideline we have previously set in. Now after blending everything together, now it's time to use the number one guard with the lever fully open and following that same rainbow shape that we set in, we're going to set in another guideline. Using the corners of your clippers, you will have full control to be able to set in a nice perfect guideline in this rainbow shape. After setting in that guideline, now it's time to blend it all out using the half guard with the lever halfway open. In a flick out motion, making sure you're just attacking that guideline, blend it in all together. Now 
Now that we finished blending in our number one guard, now it's time to switch over to our one half guard with the lever all the way open, setting in that new guideline. And they flick out motion once again, set in this new guideline to make it easier for you to blend in the future. As we finish setting in that guideline, now we're going to close the lever up to soften it up. Softening up the guideline allows us to come in with the number one later and blend it all in together nice and easy. Now that we finished setting in that one and a half, now we're going to come in with the number one guard with the lever halfway open to blend it in all together. Make sure you're always flicking out to get a nice crispy blend. Now that we finished blending in everything together, now using our final guard, which is our number three guard with the lever fully closed, we're going to set in our last guideline. After setting in that number three guard, we're gonna follow it up and blend it all in together with number two guard with the lever fully open. It's extremely crucial that you're flicking out here because you do not want to set in a new guideline. So in a flick out motion, make sure you bring in everything together. By using the corners, just look how easy everything is coming in and nicely blended. Now that we finished blending in everything together, a nice detail work that I like doing is coming in with the shears over comb and just hitting these darker corners right here to line them up a little bit. Doing this adds more contrast to the taper and lightens up those areas to make the taper pop out a lot more. Now moving on to the back taper, I always like using the earlobes as my guidelines, so I always set in the guideline right underneath that earlobe. Now using our trimmers, we're going to set in that guideline right underneath that earlobe. After setting in the guideline, now it's time to clean up all the excess hair underneath it. Now after cleaning it up, it's time to follow it with our foil shavers here and set in that bald guideline. After setting in that bald guideline, you want to start tapping it or start flicking out to get rid of that harsh guideline we have set in. After we finish fading in our bald gun line, now it's time to set in our new gun line with our no guard lever all the way open, going from the middle to one side and then to the other. As you set in your guidelines, make sure to always go down as you reach the earlobe. You do not want to keep it straight up. Going straight up causes the blend to look uneven. So make sure as you set in your guidelines, you're always going down.
Now it's time to close the lever once again and start going halfway into that blend. Now it's time to blend in everything together, so now we'll switch to the lever halfway open. Make sure to always detail your guidelines by either opening the lever more up or closing it as needed. Now it's time to switch over to the number one guard with the lever fully open, setting in our new guideline. Make sure to always drop that blend when you get near the earlobe. Now it's time to blend out that number one guard using our half guard with the lever halfway open. Any flick out motion, make sure to attack that guideline. After blending in everything together, now it's time to switch over to our one half guard with the lever fully open and the flick out motion, we're going to set in our new guideline. Now switching over to our number one guard with the lever halfway open, we're going to blend in to that one and a half guard. Make sure to always flick out to ensure a nice even blend. Now our final guideline will be set in with the number three guard with the lever fully closed. Note that we set in our number 3 guard, going in with the number 2 guard with the lever fully open, flicking out, we're going to start blending everything together. By flicking out, you can see how nicely everything is coming together. Now that we finished the taper, now it's time to do the lineup behind the ear. I like starting from the top and then working my way down to the bottom. Make sure to use the corners of your trimmers to set in a nice clean lineup. Make sure to always clean up the little hairs that you leave behind. After finishing up the top, now it's time to hit the bottom and here you just gently want to put in a line going straight down. You can also pull the ear down to make sure you set in a nice straight line. Here's the full lineup, now we will be cleaning it all out. Here's the full lineup after everything has been cleaned, just look how nice and crispy it is. Rinse and repeat the same steps on the other side and just look how nice and crispy this side came out as well. Now it's time for the lineup. As for the lineup, I like starting from the middle, taking it to one side and then to the other. Make sure to keep a steady hand since the lineup is the most crucial point of a haircut.
Gently take that line to one side of the forehead and then onto the other. After finishing up that line up on the forehead, now it's time to do the wall and gently grabbing your trimmers you want to set in that wall. Make sure to gently stretch out the forehead to leave a nice clean wall just like this. After lining it all up, these should be the end results. Just look at this perfect clean taper that we made, all blurry from the back taper to the side tapers and the lineups. Everything came out fresh and on point. If you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you guys. Make sure to always like, comment, and subscribe and follow the Instagram. We're almost to a thousand subscribers and I'll be doing a giveaway from theborderline.com. If you guys haven't checked it out, it'll be linked in the description. Thank you guys. This has been Mikey Benz with the high taper tutorial and I'm out. Peace.